What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we're going to be getting into the recent drama between Krishan and Blueface Girl. So Krishan recently had their baby chow, and it has gone downhill a little bit from there on Blueface's part, and Blueface's mother has some conspiracy theories that we're also going to get into. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post. It's Messy Maya, it's a Messy Mob Girl. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So as you guys know, Krishan did give birth to her beautiful and healthy baby boy the other day, and she ended up coming up with the name Krishan Malone, naming him after her. But this is not even where really the drama started. So the drama started because as you guys can see in this video, Blueface was not there. So Krishan came out and basically said that she did not invite him. And this is specifically what she did tweet. I simply didn't invite him. I went to my city to have my child. None of you weird ass people ain't finna be around in my son. I'm all he got. I'm gonna do everything I can to protect him from hate and jealousy or anything. His name is Krishan and he will be loved and respected. So ever since this tweet, chow, Blueface has been on a rampage ever since, okay? Y'all know how he is. Y'all know how he is with this internet stuff. He comes to the internet about everything. For what, I don't know. But let's get into a little bit of what he had to say first about basically not being there, not being invited, and not basically being able to do paperwork, which is basically signing the birth certificate and everything else. Krishan Rock is a fucking genius. I'm not going to take that from her. I'm going to tell you why she's a genius. Because she's, she's, she knows how to manipulate. So she manipulated me to thinking that she was all about me because she was out of desperation, right? So that's why when she got into a position, she kind of tried to discredit everything I did, right? Granted, all right? Because I was confused. I'm like, damn, you used to say so much great things about me now. I'm responsible for everything but your success. I'm responsible for verbal abuse, financial abuse, this, that. But when it comes to your success, I have nothing to do with it. Okay, that's strange. But the pregnancy is what... The pregnancy is what really made me realize. Because I have two kids. I've been into labor rooms. When someone is in labor, it's cool. It's it's out of the blue. No female is planning to go in labor, right? I have two kids. I know this. You can't tell me otherwise. Krishan planned her labor. She didn't coincidentally go to Baltimore and her water broke and she just went somewhere and had the baby. You know how I know this? Because... Certain hospitals don't let you film because of their own rules and, you know, whatever they got going on. Krishan went to a place prior when she was on baddies in Baltimore. She found a place prior that she could record this birth at. So, stay with me. It's all attention based. Krishan has done everything up to this far for attention. She's manipulating all of us and the only reason I'm now waking up and realizing it because I have kids so I know how this situation goes so now that two and two don't aren't going together it makes sense right Krishan flew to Baltimore with a hospital that she already knew she could film at she flew there medically induced. She let us know before the baby was coming that it was coming. Four weeks before the due date. Right? So if your due date is September 23rd, why are you letting us know that the baby is coming a week? A week 
before September. You letting us know in August. How do you know that? This is your first child. You're inexperienced. Okay. I get it. Another thing. See if she knows that it's gonna be a big a big deal. For example, why do you think before Krishan goes live and she cries and says that I'm a terrible guy, her makeup's done, her jewelry's on, her nails are done, everything is pre-planned. That's the genius part about it. Her fame, her claim to fame is sympathy. And who's gonna deny that? If it's evident, if it's in her face, right? That's the manipulation. So now I'm like, damn, I didn't let this bitch get me. Man, I'm disappointed in myself. So, of course, you know, he loves social media. So he continued his rant on Twitter. He says she is manipulating all of us who puts on jewelry before they go into labor. She's literally an actor. That's her real dream. She took acting classes all through college. She's damn near a professional. She will get dolled up to go live and cry whenever she was in the hot seat publicly. Then he goes on to basically say that she did not coincidentally go into labor you know what I'm saying? Like the labor didn't come out of nowhere. He said that she purposely flew to her hometown to get induced. This, that, and the third. And the Twitter rant continues, chow. Okay, so now he is talking about the name of the baby. He says, she could have named him alone. Why would you set my son up for life with a bitch's name? I actually feel bad for my son at this point. He's a junior to his mom. He don't got to be named after me, but... But at least put some thought into it. That was quick and last minute. What do you want to name him? Um, write down Krishan Malone. Shake my head. <laughs> okay, so the rampage continues. And basically what he said was, he said, who's going to watch the baby? And if you guys don't know, now you know, there are a lot of um, molestation allegations going on in Krishan's family right now. It's kind of like a generational thing. Unfortunately, um, that is a part of her, of her trauma traumatic history with her family um so he's basically saying that his child is not going to go through that this that and the third he also says that if she does not take basically parenting her their kid seriously that he is going to file for full custody within 30 days basically trying to say that if she's out doing bookings doing shows working this that and the third working out then he is going to file for full custody when in the beginning he made it very clear that he didn't want this baby or anything to do with this baby to begin with and he admitted that he wasn't gonna watch the baby shooting like after i had the baby already i said who gonna watch the baby <laughs> me <Who? laughs> She says you. Please. Son. Please. Son. What? Have I ever watched you for more than 24 hours? So you've made it clear multiple times that you wanted nothing to do with this baby. On Crazy in Love, you said that you felt like you were stuck with this baby. You're not stuck with me. I'm not stuck with you at all. I know. Stuck was a child bite. And now that the baby is here and Krishan is getting some sense of independence and she's showing you like, I don't need you. I don't need you to be here. You are indeed not stuck with me, nor are you stuck with a child by me. It's like now you're mad. I don't understand. But while she was in labor, you was in Miami party. And now that it settles, now that it has settled in that she had the baby, she's snapping back. She's about to do her. Now she can go back to whatever working whatever now you want full custody but you were just saying how you didn't even want to babysit <laughs> now you want full custody though i don't understand on some real shit though i really do hope that krishan is staying off the internet i cannot imagine it being less than 48 hours that i pushed out my baby naturally you know what i'm saying I get discharged from the hospital and then my baby father, who's acting like a bitter baby mother, is on Twitter going on his toxic rants. 
I couldn't imagine dealing with that. It's like he wants her to be upset. It's like this girl just gave birth to your child. Like you would think that you want her to heal and be happy or positive for at least an, a certain amount of time after she pushed the baby out. But he does not care. It's like he's trying to stress her out. It's so weird. And then it's like he goes on these rants about like him loving his first baby mother so much and Jaden this and Jaden that. I shouldn't have left Jaden. Jaden's a real one. Jaden is this. Jaden is that. I love Jaden so much. This, that, and the third, the whole spill child. If Jaden is so amazing, is if Jaden is such an amazing woman and you love your family so much that you have built with her, why are you so consumed in what is going on with Krishan? You're still talking about Krishan. You still you're still obsessing over Krishan when you have another woman at home. Like I can't help. But to also feel bad for Jaden, because it's like, I couldn't imagine like having a boyfriend that is like obsessing over his ex-girlfriend. He's obsessed with Krishan, whether he wants to admit it or not. It's weird. It's, it's sick. It's sick. It's very, very sick. But Krishan is bouncing back and she is happy. And I feel like that's really why he's mad. He can't stand it. He really can't stand it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a tough pill to swallow. The girl is moving on without you. You're mad. You if but I don't understand like if you're so happy with your other baby mother and you guys have such a beautiful family that you wouldn't trade in for the world and you feel like you should have never left her for Krishan in the first place. Why are you still bothering Krishan? It's like he's trying everything in his power to get this girl's attention. It's 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 weird. It's weird. It's very weird. Okay? It's weird. That's his only claim to fame at this point because he's not really known for his music like that anymore. So it's like, that's the only thing. When he does interviews, when he gets booked for interviews, what is the, what are the interviews about? The interviews are about him and Krishan. They're never about him being a rapper, him doing anything other than being a toxic person. Child, that is your only claim to fame. We get it, but leave that girl name out your mouth. I don't understand. Okay, so the mess does not stop here. So right after Krishan gave birth, Carlissa Blueface's mother, Blueface's insufferable, annoying as mother child, she goes to social media and basically says that Blueface had a child with his cousin. Yes, she is basically saying that Krishan and Blueface are cousins. Let's go ahead and take a look. What's going on? Come to find out, Krishan Mama is a Dorsey. She a Dorsey. Oh, they they related to me. Them my people. Girl, if them Dorseys, Dorseys, you come on now, you know all the Dorseys is related, and they all act like that. They all strong and and and, and act like that. John had a baby with his cousin. He did. I bet you we need to test the baby. The baby is probably. Shut up. That's why the baby had our DNA. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck y'all think I'm playing? Child. I don't know how to feel or what to say about this situation. Y'all let me know how you guys feel. But that's all I have for you guys today concerning this situation. And I'm going to just leave this situation where the hell it is. I think <laughs> if anything else don't come out. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that post notification bell. So you know every single time I post. It's Messy Maya. Bye. Your